This band workout focuses a little bit more on the upper body. You're still going to get a total body workout. I have three different levels of band. Use whatever you have at home. Starting off with a medium tension band. I like to make bracelets when I don't use the whole band. You can let the band dangle too. Either way, it's just fine. Mat is always optional. I'm going to start with my arms straight out in front of me with a good amount of band, keeping my feet pretty close together. And I'll tell you about that later. Right now, we're just going to drive that band towards the chest, squeezing everything in the upper back. Looking through the back of the shoulders, shoulder blades come together, elbows drive back. So even though I'm straightening that band, or I'm stretching that band, the elbows are still bent. Now, once I figure out this movement, I'm going to add a little bit of abduction, working through the hips, keeping both feet facing the same direction, and then just shifting and balancing. Count yourself out one minute for each of these movements, and then at that 30 second mark, just switch sides. This workout is to be done three times through for a full half hour workout. Good. Finishing up your minute with that movement, and we'll move on to biceps. Biceps, I'm gonna go a little bit stronger with the band, so I have my glue here. Um, every band set might be a little different, and that's okay. Just figure out which one's gonna work for you and which movement. I'm separating my feet just a little bit, palms are facing forward, elbows are very close to my side, and I have my abs just drawn up and in, I'm working the biceps. Bands are great, providing resistance on the way up and on the way down, a little bit different than dumbbells, and a lot easier to travel with, take up a lot less space in your living room. So if you ever want to buy fitness equipment, I would suggest the bands because you can get total body in now. I'm gonna go about 30, 45 seconds here, and then I'm gonna really start um, intensifying that move just by pushing forward, pushing forward, working the biceps still, getting a little bit more of that front shoulder, and just finishing out my set right there, all the way up to a minute. Go ahead, let go. And then the next movement, I'm gonna go back down to the medium band. This movement is for the triceps and it's going up and overhead. So if your shoulders don't like overhead, I can give you an option. Right here, I'm gonna take the handle of one side and just bring it overhead. From there, I let the band dangle until I can find the opposite, the opposite side. From here, I'm gonna pull down just a little bit, increasing my resistance. So I have a really good stretch on that shoulder and this arm is going up overhead and right back down to the base of my neck. Elbow stays high the entire time that you're making this movement. While you're making this movement, try not to arch your back. So keep those abs up and in. Tuck your hips just a little bit as you continue that movement for 30 seconds on one side. Finishing that up, going to the other side by dropping that bag and grabbing the handle, and then finding the bottom. Make it more tense, don't choke up on the band, pull down more, and then really relift right up into those overhead triceps. Now, I told you I was gonna show you a modification. So if your shoulders don't work like that and you don't want your arms up overhead, you can certainly go into a traditional tricep kickback. With a traditional kickback, I would say split your stance Grab both sides of the band underneath the handles to where there's some tension. Let your elbows come up nice and high and keep them there. Starting with a bent arm, straighten back out and let those arms come towards the floor. So this is your option if that overhead tricep does not work for your body. And we're all a little different, that's okay. Good. Let's go into shoulders now. Option if you don't want to go overhead for shoulders, take your lighter band, put it underneath one or both feet, depending on how tense your band is, and then we take that into a little bit of a split stance. It doesn't have to be much. Lifting out to the side with nicely bent elbows, this is going to be a little bit safer shoulder movement, um, but still effective. You can also add those front raises. So you can alternate if you want to. If that's gonna be your shoulder minute, that's gonna be your shoulder minute. Otherwise, I have something other for you. We're gonna take this band again, 
I have my medium tension band. I'm going to make bracelets. Taking it up and over. Underneath the arms, choking up on that band and getting ready for an overhead press. So overhead press, just like that. That band is going to be under your arms. You can press up and over. And you can also add whatever lower body exercise you'd like. So since I already did squats, well, maybe I did, <laughs> I'm going to add this back lunge. Side view. Always sinking down into your lunges, never pressing forward. Good. So there's your shoulder press. And then to work through the chest, I'm going to keep this band in the same position. And if you want to heavy up your band or switch it out, that's just fine. We're going to add a little bit of a balance challenge to this movement. So I have a cross punch right here. Cross punch. Now, you can add a straight leg lift and work through the abdominals in a standing manner if you would like. Finishing out your minute here, and then starting from the top. Six movements, upper body focus, three times through for one minute each movement. If that movement is bilateral, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. All right? Have a good time.